Hey guys, we are here to do Cindy Utter's November challenge from her channel. I'm gonna link her original video in the description below. This month it's pick a stick. So she picked some sticks and she did backgrounds. You know I'm gonna do a twist, so why do I even bother saying that? Of course, I'm gonna still pick sticks, but I'm gonna do a page. That's gonna be the twist. So, um, and by sticks I mean, most of us who have been doing mixed media for a while and been on YouTube or been watchers on YouTube, followers on YouTube, we've got these inspiration sticks, like do-it-yourself inspiration cards, but we have sticks. These are um, large craft sticks or, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm of a certain generation, I still think of these as tongue depressors. But anyway, you can get them in big boxes at the craft store for fairly cheap. And then you just write different little prompty things on them. And um, you do what is on the stick and use that to create a page. So I picked 10 sticks and I'm going to line them up over here. I'm not necessarily going to do them in the order that I picked them, but I am going to do them all on the page. And we will see where we get with this because I have no idea and I will read you the ones that I have here in just a second this one's double sided okay so I have add washi tape paint red circles collage with copies paint with fingers draw something stamp into wet gesso print with bubble wrap spray through stencil Write something scribbly so only you know what it says and add a flower. So we're going to do all those on the page. I'm going to speed forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, there is my page for November. Pick a stick challenge. I like pick a stick challenges. They're fun. I do have some ideas come up, come coming up um, to do with the idea of pick a stick and what to do with my sticks um, because I actually don't use them that much. I have playing cards from Kyla Give Hand and also Karen Friedland that I use more than the sticks. And anyway, I have an idea coming up regarding this big bucket of sticks. So watch for that video, it's coming soon. But anyway, in the meantime, if you have sticks or you have Karen Friedland's cards or you have Kyla Give Hand's cards, use them to create some art journal uh, pages and or some backgrounds. Have some fun with it and explore your adventurous, free-loving artistic side. All right, don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.